Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne. And in this podcast, I share my real world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. Every once in a while, I get messages from new or frustrated authors who are considering hiring a publishing company to help them with their self-published books. The fact that they're even contacting me is very telling. There's an element of doubt about going forward with these companies. Some are concerned about the cost. Others ask if I've ever heard of this or that company and do I have an opinion? Because I'm so curious about what authors do when they feel they need help, I often ask them if they'd be willing to share what companies they're considering. Let's talk about what to watch for. But first, we must make the distinctions among publishing companies, publishers, and self-publishing platforms, because all of those terms sound very similar, but they couldn't be more different. A publishing company assists self-published, sometimes referred to as indie authors, in producing and promoting their books. These services are offered for a fee, sometimes a very high fee. In the past, these might have been classified as vanity presses. However, the term has pretty much fallen out of favor since, in a way, all self-publishing is vanity publishing. Okay, fight me on that. While there's less of a stigma about publishing your own books these days, these companies usually emphasize how they're concerned about authors getting their books in print. They know the emotional high that authors get from holding a printed copy of the book they wrote in their hands. Many of these companies are just printing companies who sell print. There are some that are print on demand, which would be preferred over those that just sell quantities of printed books that will quickly become a pile of boxes in your garage or basement. Some of these companies do offer manuscript editing, page formatting, and book cover design, but that really is offered just to provide what's necessary to get a printed product into the hands of the buyer, which in this case is the author. Other publishing companies tout the promotion services they offer. I've ranted on this before. Please, please understand what they are offering. Most will create a boilerplate news release or press release that the author, not the company, is responsible for sending to the media, as if the author would know what to do about that. They may also offer a few social media posts just to fulfill their minimal obligations to the authors. Authors, being writers, should be able to do this all by themselves. But newbie authors who are not from the publishing or business world often don't know they can do that. Some companies I've seen also offer advertising, for a fee, of course. One I ran across offered authors the opportunity to run an ad in the venerable Publishers Weekly for nearly $8,000 a pop. That's on top of the fees for the production and printing services for the books. Since I was in the newspaper and print advertising business for 15 years, I know that running one ad does virtually nothing. Estimates of how many times a buyer needs to see an ad to even recognize it is about seven times or more. But in order for them to even see the ad once, you probably need to run it seven or more times. Plus, you have to realize that the readers of Publishers Weekly, who are bookstore owners, publishers, agents, and other elite publishing pros, could usually not care less about representing or selling any self-published books. There are also companies who say they can help with Amazon ads. Self-published authors can do this for themselves and probably should. It's just that authors don't understand what they're buying. Authors want to buy results. 
but it would be very difficult to deliver what a self-published author would expect in results. So are these publishing companies just scams? Not technically. They usually do what they say they're going to do. One of these publishing companies summed it up perfectly on their website's Frequently Asked Questions page. They said while authors would receive a percentage of the retail price of each book sold, they cautioned that you should work with them because you want to see your book in print, not because you expect sales. They also noted that self-published books typically do not earn enough from sales to recoup the costs of publishing. While some of their authors had received national attention, most self-published authors do not sell as many books as they hope. Hey, at least they're honest. So let's look at what is a publisher. A publisher is a company that contracts with authors to publish, print, and promote authors' books. They do not charge a fee of any sort to the author. They are making an investment in the author and the author's book. This is often referred to as traditional publishing. The competition is fierce for getting a traditional publishing book deal or to even get an agent to represent your work to a publisher. Most authors do not get book deals. After a frustrating stab at getting a traditional book deal, authors can turn to these publishing companies, sometimes not realizing that they are not the same thing as publishers, buyer beware. So what about hybrid publishers? Some legitimate publishers are now offering hybrid publishing services. This is not the same as the publishing company model. It's more of a joint venture where both the hybrid publisher and the author put up money to get a book published. In my opinion, it's not much of an improvement over the publishing companies since, again, no results are guaranteed. As well, the hybrid publisher will usually do the production and printing maybe some promotion, but it is unlikely to be a full-on advertising and PR blitz. I feel that authors can get sucked into these expensive hybrid publishing deals because they think that they'll be associated with the bigger legit publisher. I had one author contact me about some hybrid arm of a major trade publisher. She said that the hybrid division told her they would forward her manuscript to the main publisher for consideration for a traditional book deal. Again, no guarantee of results. I told her to ask what assurances she would be getting about the submission's success. Lastly, we have the bare bones DIY do-it-yourself publishing option, which are self-publishing platforms. These are companies such as Amazon's Kindle Direct Publishing or KDP, Ingram Spark, Lulu, and Book Baby. These offer distribution and production channels for authors' books, but no other assistance. These companies may offer some services on a contract basis or referrals to professionals who can assist with production or marketing. Amazon and KDP offer promotional opportunities through their exclusive KDP Select program, and there are Amazon ads for books. However, all of these services are self-directed and contracted by the author. Other than some minimal support documentation, no help, encouragement, or assurances are provided. Even though these platforms are pretty easy to use to produce a print book or an ebook, self publishing is the most challenging because you are an entrepreneur. That is unsettling for most authors since they have little or no business experience 
or expertise, so you can see why newbie or frustrated authors are attracted to a publishing company that will sell them the dream of having a print book in their hands, as if that means the book will be successful. I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you like the YouTube video better, you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert when a new video is available. I would appreciate it if you would share the audio or the video with your friends on social media. My self-published books are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is type in my name, Heidi Thorne, and a list of all of my available titles will come up. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.